Sound off, everybody. My name is Melly Echo, and welcome to a game called The Stanley Parable. Yep, I am finally getting into playing this bad boy. Oh, wow, there's my audio. Just brought the game up here. That's that's good. Wow, it works. Okay, audio's great. This game, um... I have no idea what it's about. I've heard some good reviews. I know it's been played before. I know it's a multiple ending game, but that's pretty much all I know about it. So, uh, why don't we... Keyboard mouse. All right. No, cool, cool, cool. Mouse sensitivity. I'm okay here. Cool, cool, cool beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. All right, we are full of the coolest of beans. Uh, let's go back and begin the game. So, the Stanley Parable, as far as I know, this game, is, the end is never the end, is never the end, is loading. Loading is never the end. It's never the end. Never the end. Never the end. Anytime. I mean, whenever you want to load game, that's that would be great. I'd love it, personally. Oh, I live here now. Oh, oh, click to skip. This is the story ah, oh. of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Getting some and real then bartle. one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Um, is that my cue? Do I get out of the desk? Oh, I do. Wait, can I? Oh, I am. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying I'm getting some Bartleby feels out of this. Oh, pencils. Can I interact with anything? Anything over here? No. What about this? Nope. And walked out of his office. Well, I want to look at my world first before I go walking anywhere. Why would I leave this open? I, I think I'd be a little more retentive than that. I can't pick up anything. Hang, hang on a second. Um, nope. Alright, I don't know what the controls do because I was dumb and didn't look at that, which I probably should- HELLO! Ah, uh, that didn't work. I rammed my face into this door. Ah, All right, that didn't work either. People just leaving filing cabinets open. This is breaking HIPAA laws left and right. Oh, All hey, of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ah, see, that's where you're wrong. See, when you're narrating for someone in improv, you don't use the word decided. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom. I am the only one who decides what I'm going to do when and where. Oh, nope. please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, what? no, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A Four, measly five, five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. Oh, I would say oh, that's the oh, kind of effort that one, warrants recognition. Two, three, four, five, mm, I have six, to say, I'm still not feeling seven, the satisfaction of witnessing eight, excuse you. effort for a noble cause. Ten, Perhaps eleven, I'm trying. Yes, what? almost what? certainly 
50 clicks. Oh, no. Uh-uh. No, I am not getting locked into this. I've been there before. I've had a job like that before. What is... No, can't do anything here. Why can't I pick anything up? Um, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to make sure I got this right. Uh... What are my keys? Okay, so move back. Yeah, normal was. Oh, I can duck. I just have to use control. Okay, cool beans. Uh, use items. Mouse. I've been using that. Also, E has been doing the same thing. F5 is the screenshot. Don't know if I'm going to do that, but it's good to know. Turn right, look up, and I'll just use the mouse for all that biz nails. Okay, cool. God, the, the, resume. Frame rate seems to be doing okay. Uh, CPU usage is a 20% par for the course for this piece of garbo computer oh look at this oh my god this is an avocado green rotary phone i kid you not when i used to live in the farmhouse uh in king city when i was like really really little like really little we had one of those rotary phones i remember having to like hit a number and then wait for the thing to spin back around to hit another number it was so old school i oh, can't interact i can't mess with anything on anybody's desks okay 437 nope see i would have probably gone for the 50 click achievement i probably should have crouch why am i crouching i'm gonna sneak it a sneak a snake wait this no all the doors are locked here you think after working here for so long snake a snake a snake that i would be able to get into anywhere i want snake a snake a snake a snake a snake a snake gonna secretly sharpen all the pencils in this office I'm <laughs> nope can't all right 425 426 no no oh hey that oh 4b well that guy's this there's no privacy in that office at all whatsoever look at this who did this this is a mess can't interact can't interact with anything. Well, what's the what's the what's the gosh darn point? And where is the meeting room? I've heard so much. What's in here? A bigaboo! Is this a copy room? There is literally keep dry. Nobody here. No. Alrighty. Well, it looks like I'm being railroaded. Thank you, game. Can I pick up? But wait. I hate Mondays. Yeah, I'm. Well, I feel you there. We all hate Mondays. Garfield says so. Oh! I think I might need to keep that in mind. Maybe for when I'm escaping something? I don't even know if this is a horror game or if this is just a fuck with you severely game. 416. No. Nope. 15. One of these has to work. Oh! You guys were not... Well, you just left your coffee on the chair. That is a dangerous place to put that. Can I go in and fix it? No, I can't. My OCD-ness does not come into play. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Why are you telling me what to do? I have a brain of my own, thank you very much. I can make my own decision. I'm gonna go over here. No, no, no. All right. You said enter the door on my left. That's gonna be this bad boy. But what if I want to go through this bad boy? Huh? 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 You don't know me! You don't know my life! Oh. Stanley's breaking all the rules by leaving his desk anyway. It's this the right- This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just oh. to admire it. So it is an option. Oh, look at this pretty picture of the ocean. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty. I can't do anything. It's just, everything is a mess. It's like people just threw everything in their office onto the floor for the giggles. They did it for the lulls. And I'm checking all of these doors, probably in futility. All right. What kind of meeting were you guys having? Don't think I want to know. Special meeting of the Illuminati. 449. Where is the employee lounge? Oh, there it is. Nope. 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 Everything is locked. Why? Yoink. Moink. It's a box of umbrellas. Or it's a box of pictures of umbrellas. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. 
It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Can I sit down? Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Look at me drinking this in. I'm just gonna glug this view down. Yum! It's delicious. It's like refreshing as water. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so <laughs> utterly captivating <laughs> that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously awesome. vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really well, worth it. I mean, this is not, they're nice chairs. They're probably like super comfy. Look at this. Look at this upholstery work. At this it's point, nice. Stan is obsessed, but at last he'd had enough of Wait a minute. No, so no, I wanted to hear you. His left to get back to business. I wanted to hear the rest of your narrative, but I got jumpy and impatient. That is my downfall. I'm going to go straight. Cuz I detour. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Yeah, I know that's what they all say. Oh, look at this stuff. Wait, can I look under the table? I can. Well, there's nothing under here. Can I Oh, no. This is telling me I can hide under things. It part of me doesn't like the fact that that's an option. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. I'm not lying. I'm reading your sign. How is that lying? Hello? Can't mess with any of your drafting goody goodies. All right. Well, I'll just go through A4 then. Hmm. I wonder what kind of ending I'm getting out of this. I really do. Wait. No. I don't think I've been in this area before because I just don't, you know, I, I don't belong here. I don't know why I'm pressing spacebar. It's not doing anything. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna die. Hmm. Alright. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. I'm pretty sure you can't come back from death or it's just gonna leave you, you know, wishing. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, 500 Well, nobody's here. Look, ah. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Nah. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. No, I know, I I'm just that curious. I your trust in someone else can be um? difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. You? Someone you've forgotten about. Is Please. it you? Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Wait. Who is her is it, and... Stanley. Your Baseball. chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Who's her? She's been waiting. Who is her? Who are you talking about? You know, all right, fine. I'll listen to you, voice. And not ah, darkness... Who is she? And why don't I have a flashlight? And why can't I click on anything? And can I grab this and bring this with me? Can I turn that on? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is probably gonna be the first of many bad decisions I'm gonna make in this game. Hiya! Hey! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Oh, I am at a quandary. I don't know if this is a trick. Uh, I pick up the phone. Huh? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Okay! <laughs> gotcha! No, what? Oh, come on. Did you what? actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit Maybe. their life to you? I'm trying Somebody. to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's ah, really going ah, on. Ah, 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 no. What? What, what, what even is high? Oh, you're this naked! This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Well, that's me. I, but I'm alive. Good morning, employee 427. Press J on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. 
He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press the right- Why? I can't get through the- and I can't jump. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Well, I now can't- he's pushing a button. Now, he's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. No! Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Press 9. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can what? go on fantastic adventures. Oh, I do From that all the time. His desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. Ah, it's a it view I wonderful. don't want. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Well, that's really depressing. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. I was looking the for them and you deterred me. excited him terribly. What? Uh, to spend time with the boys? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. That's why I was making my own choices and I wasn't listening to you, voice. As he okay. wandered through this fantasy world, he began to ah, with many possible paths and destinations. Where's the kitchen? Down word, word. one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game what? with a baby. What? And called it the Stanley Parable. That's hard to tell your kids a story. All right, I hope they like it. It It'll was like... such a wonderful fantasy. And what so is... in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Show me where the kitchen an went. Down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps yeah. if he played just one more time. Okay. Tell your wife you love her. I thought you said I didn't have a loving no wife. Answer. Huh? How could there possibly be? What? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. I can't jump? Achievement unlocked? Press one to go to sleep. It became my office! And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That that's as long depressing! As he here, he's slowly killing himself. Well, that's horrible! Listen to me. He won't stop. Here. Watch this. Stanley, what? the next what? time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see, that's listening to you. You see, can he just not hear me? Uh, I tell him in a wait, way that he'll understand what? that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? Maybe How can I make him look at himself? Give me a mirror. That might help. Zero to question nothing. No, I'm questioning everything in this game. Who are you? Who am I? You're not going to progress unless I press zero, are you? Fine. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. <sighs> I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. Can I get out? So different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe, maybe not. This time. And you I can... tried again. Please and die. Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Ah! What? It said, please die. What? End is never the end is never the... Wait, was that one of the endings? Just me not doing what he said every single time? What? Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, what happened? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Standing that was one of the, the endings. Room, oh my god, that was horrible. Man. Golly gee willikers. Okay, this is a good place to end it right here. These are short ones, I know that, but we got to this ending. There's gonna be more. I can't wait to see what else this game has in store for me and what other choices I have to make and that I get to make. So thank you everybody for stopping by. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments below and I will put a link to the games in the description below. I cannot talk. Bah! So that's it everybody. Thank you. Remember you are all good beans and I will see you in the next video. Love you. Bye-bye.